in this video, you will be amazed to see Chinese made advanced aerial vehicles. Hi everyone, how is it going? This is Richard Aguilar and of course, this is Arthur and we are back again today to give you another awesome video. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. In this video, we consider to list only the best of China's most advanced aerial vehicles. So get ready to see them flying the sky, showing you what they can do. So with this being said, in this video, we list 9 of China's best and most advanced aerial vehicles. And if you are already excited to see them, okay, let's jump into our number 1. Number 1 is Amazing Aerial Stunts at FAKU International Air Show in Shenyang, China. The 6th Shenyang FACU International Flight Conference opened with a dazzling air show and an exhibition of the latest aviation products and technology in northeast China's Liaoning province. As the largest air show in China's northeast, the expo featured aerobatic performances and exhibitions of general aviation products as well as medical equipment for in-flight emergencies. Forums focus on topics such as cooperation with Shenyang aviation companies, promotion of aviation products, and air rescue were also held during the event. Number 2 is China's heavy lift helicopter passed all air worthiness tests. China's first heavy lift helicopter, AC-313, has passed all its airworthiness tests. That's according to sources with a developer. The most recent airworthiness test was held in heavy rain in Jingdezhen in East China's Jiangxi province, according to Changhu Aircraft Industry Group Corporation. The group is a subsidiary of the Aviation Industry Corporation of China. The civilian purpose helicopter took off and landed in heavy rain without a hitch, with precipitation exceeding 0.03 inch within 6 minutes. Number 3 is China's self-developed attack helicopter amazed audiences with stunts. A pair of China's military helicopters performed an in-air ballet-like stunt as they circled around each other nose-to-nose -nose at an expo in North China's Tianjin municipality. The performance just meters above the ground was carried out at the China Helicopter Exposition by a team from the People's Liberation Army Ground Force. Number 4 is Daredevil Helicopter Performance at North China's Expo. The 5th China Helicopter Exposition was opened in Northern China's Tianjin, highlighting international market-oriented cooperation. The four-day expo with a total exhibition area of about 160,000 square meters has attracted more than 400 global helicopter-related companies and features multiple activities such as exhibitions, high-level forums, and air shows.
Number 5 is the 5th China Helicopter Expo. Helicopter makers at home and abroad have brought their latest products to the 5th China Helicopter Exposition held in Tianjin Municipality of North China in order to appeal to the potential market. Number 6 is Sneak peek of China's largest helicopter expo. China's largest helicopter expo was opened in the northern city of Tianjin. Civilian and military helicopters of various kinds are displayed. Industry insiders expect the number of helicopters in China to rise about 40% annually for the next few years. Number 7 is China revealed the J-15 fighter jets training on aircraft carrier. Navy's aircraft carriers. Rumors initially claimed the aircraft was to be semi-stealth variant, yet later reports indicate the aircraft is based on the Soviet-designed Sukhoi Su-33 and is fitted with domestically produced radars, engines, and weapons. Number 8 is China's new Rainbow Number no. 5 UAV completed maiden flight. China's domestically developed Rainbow 5 unmanned aerial vehicle has successfully completed its maiden flight in northwest China's Gansu province. Rainbow 5 is the largest reconnaissance and strike drone developed by China, according to the Chinese Academy of Aerospace Aerodynamics of China's Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation. Number 9 is Drone Technology Highlighted at China's Annual Innovation Summit Technology innovators gathered in Beijing over the weekend to attend the annual Unique Innovation Summit where the agenda highlighted the potential of commercial drone technology. Watch this! And that's all there is to it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have something to say about this video, please leave your comment below. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar and this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.